You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and I have a brand new face for Greater Brockton, Sheila Farragher. Yeah. Say it right? Yes, you did. Welcome, Very Sheila. Good. Thank you. So, Sheila's from Harbor One Bank. Yes. And you work on all the educational training that goes on for community members. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, and the training goes on right on Legion Parkway mm -hmm. in the original Brockton Credit Union Harbor One, which has all sorts of activities going on in there. The Stonehill, Stonehill has a center in there yes, dealing yep. with nonprofits. I know, I think there's language classes there as yes, well. Yes, yep. But your concentration is the financial education, yes. correct? Yes. So when I go in there, go to my ATM machine, get my money out after direct deposit, I see posters that list all your training on the wall. So if you want to know more, first of all, Harbor One, what's the website for Harbor um, One? It's harborone.com. Okay. And then there's a tab for Harbor One U, which is the education center. Right. And then they can see all of the upcoming classes um, for Brockton, Mansfield, yeah. and Rhode Island. Rhode Island. See, I yes. didn't know that part. Uh, I didn't know you were down to Rhode Island. Yeah. So if you look on that tab, there's financial courses, small business courses, and then you also go out to the community Yes. as well. Yes, yep. So um, schools will reach out to us. Um, we do a financial education from preschool through mm. college. Um, so we have, you know, there's a little something for everyone. We, our kind of motto is that you're never too young to learn about financial education. Oh, absolutely. When I was back in the day, old-fashioned stuff, you know, they'd give us the little cardboard things that you could put nickels, pennies, uh, dimes yeah. into, stuff like that. Nothing is fancy, but it, uh, financial literacy is, is, is a skill that you take through your whole life. Absolutely. And if you learn to save at a young age, then when you're closer to retirement, like, I'm not that close yet, but maybe you have saved enough money to actually retire. Right. And, right, and that's the message that we try to instill, you know, those good saving habits at an early age, um, setting goals, um, and it's easier to save when you do set goals. Um, and, and then with the teenagers, it's like, you know, when you get your paycheck, you know, we try to tell them to pay yourself first before you start paying your bills, and then you'll have something a little left. I was talking to one of my employees here today about, um, you know, work that he does, and he's like, I'm going to put some of that money away for retirement. Now, he's not, I mean, I'm closer to retirement than he is, and he says, I better start planning and thinking about it now. Even, you know, back in the day, they used to have Christmas clubs and vacation clubs. I know some banks still have those and some banks don't, but mm -hmm. if I put away all my money now and I did X number a year, I could pay for the rental on the cabin I go to in the summer, and I could pay for the dinners that I'm gonna go out to do. I always talk about doing it, but I don't ever necessarily do it. I just hope that I do it, because I don't, I teach, I have a second job. I teach mm -hmm. during the academic year, but I don't have that job in the summer. So that's not, I go on vacation in the summer. Yeah. So I really should be putting away the money and saving it. Um, I know you folks are involved in the Credit for Life Fair that the students from Brockton High participate in. Is yes. where's that held these days? Is it still so right? We do it at the high school. At now. the high school. Okay. Yes. Yep. And so um, April 11th is okay. the date for this year, um, and we're going to try um, because we, you can't do it's kind of impossible to do a whole like junior class or senior class because it's so big. It's so th yeah. Um, but we're trying to do, you know, reach 600 mm -hmm. students, and we, um, you know, and if they've done it in the past, then maybe they would help and be volunteers. Mm -hmm. um, we're, they're actually going to invite the bilingual students to participate this year, and we have a number of employees that are bilingual that we're going to, um, you know, make sure that we get the bilingual um, volunteers there as well. Well, I think, from what I can gather, I've been a customer for years, so full disclosure. You have a very diversified staff. When you go to one, any of the branches, and I go primarily in Brockton, although I'm going to go visit that space age new mm -hmm. Stoughton branch mm -hmm. of the uh, of Harbor One, yeah. um, you're very welcomed. First of all, how can you not be welcomed on like a Saturday with the cookies? Right. Yes. The hot chocolate chip <laughs> cookies that happen to you. It's worth going in just to cash a check or, right. or even take a check and make it out to cash and go in there to get the cookie. But, I mean, I think this is important. They don't really teach you financial literacy per se in school. 
anymore because there's so much teaching to the test right. that, you know, the business skills, the, the, the stuff goes by the wayside. But if you don't manage debt properly, if you, you know, as soon as you can get a credit card, if you grab that credit card and you start using that credit card and going to the limit and then not paying off the full balance, you can end up in quicksand. Right. Very fast. Right. Okay? Yes. Um, I, you know, I, I think it's amazing the amount of education you do. You look at, there are bigger banks than Harbor One but I don't see them doing this stuff. I see Harbor One as a really good community partner in the greater Brockton area. Oh, well, thank you. So you yeah. must love what so, you do. Right, yeah, so as part of Harbor One U is a division of the bank where it's solely where that's our mission is to, um, for community outreach. So um, yeah, it's important to us and we, you know, it's, and we get a lot out of it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we help kids, when kids at the Credit for Life Fair say things like, oh, I had no idea that what my parents go through every month, or, you know, they actually don't, because we give them like a credit card option, a lot of them, they, they won't use the credit card, because I think, you know, they understand that they can get, you can easily get into credit card trouble. My father always taught me, don't buy anything you can't afford. Right. And he'd go in and buy a car for cash. Because yeah. he actually saved the money to buy the car. Wow. And he taught me in, in school when I was of age to get a car. He could trade his car in, and I'll just use an example. This was a long time ago. $4,800 for a trade-in. Mm -hmm. You're paying me $2,400. I'm not going to trade in. I'm going to give you half the car, and you're going to earn the other half. So I'd pay him the $1,200 for year one, and then year two he would say, okay, I taught you your lesson. You know that I'm not going to give you anything. You have to earn things in life. And it's wow. stayed with me pretty much my whole life. Yeah. You also have the Harbor One has a foundation as well that you help yes. different community groups with. So you're like an educator and a banker all rolled into one. Right, exactly, yeah. Um, any, anything specifically you want to promote coming up? Um, we're we're going to have a generic so it doesn't expire. We can play this a lot of times. But how about a, a, you gave us the website. Yeah. Is there a phone number for the, you know, um, the educational so division? For, for the Brockton... Um, on Legion Parkway, the number is 508-895-1770. 1770, okay. And it's it literally right on Le uh, Legion Parkway is the dead center of downtown. It's perfect. Right. And, and it's a nice building and there's parking. There's a lot behind there. Right. Not a ton of parking. Right. You can't fit 100 people there. But. Right, yeah. So in into the evenings when the bank is closed, the entrance is on the left Right. Um, the left of the entrance to um, go on upstairs. On the Legion Parkway On side. Legion Parkway, right. and then there's, um, yeah, the entrance in the back. Okay, well, we're glad we have you in. We had Mass, mass uh, Hiring to talk about the financial uh, bank on your future program, and uh, it's nice to meet a new face. Yeah, well, thank you very much for having me. Thank you me. for coming on. All right. We'll get you back, and we'll find out more. Okay. Maybe we'll bring good. a camera down and get some of it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.